Auroron. Granny? <sighs> What's wrong, Granny? It looks like you have something to say. <sighs> you know exactly what you did. You need some sense knocked into you, that's what I think. Now, where do I even begin? <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now that you have nowhere to run, that's when you apologize? You couldn't wait to run off last time, and the time before that. Uh, pretty sure I apologized those times too. What exactly were you thinking? Being a wanted criminal is one thing, but then you also tried to pull off that whole thing in the ancient ruin. <sighs> I'm not the one who needs an apology. Apologize to yourself for risking your life. Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't have anything to say for myself, Granny. Yell at me all you want. I know I messed up. You better be sincere. This is an incredibly serious matter. I'm being sincere, I promise. I've seriously reflected on my actions. I know what I did was risky, and I know I made some bad choices. But I don't regret it. I just had to do something. Not because I thought I was special, but because I wanted to help Natlan as much as I can. Of course, in the end, I just ended up causing more trouble, so you're right. My apology doesn't mean much, but I don't know what else I can say. You even had Aoife bring me that gem. A simple thank you isn't enough, but still, thank you, Granny. Ah, <sighs> you're welcome. Just make sure to thank Aoife sometime. Hmm. I will. Uh, anyway, don't feel too grateful. I tampered with the bag to copy a portion of your memories. Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> of course you didn't. You forget how many years I have on you. Like you could uncover one of my tricks. Ugh, <sighs> anyway... I have something else to tell you. The Pyro Archon has discussed your case with the others. Many of your actions violated the rules of Natlan, and you should understand you'll have to take responsibility for that. I understand. But... your efforts weren't entirely meaningless in the end. In addition to giving us another failsafe, you saved yourself with sheer force of will and managed to become a hero. Huh. Not too shabby, grandson. Did the Traveler in Paimon tell you to say that? What? No! I said that because I mean it! I can't believe you're complimenting me at a time like this. You normally let your fist do the talking. Uh, you're not off the hook just yet. I told the Traveler I was going to break your legs, and I meant every part of it. <laughs> Could you not? <laughs> I still need them to walk. Hmm, trying to negotiate, are you? All right. Make me an offer. Given all the good things that I managed to accomplish, can you let me off the hook this one time? I promise to do better in the future. <sighs> Fine. I can let this slide for now. But I'll be watching. We'll see if I change my mind. Oh, a traveler, Paimon. Didn't expect to see you here. Hello! Yes. Uh, looking after these little rascals is rather exhausting. Taking care of the traveler isn't easy either. Paimon's life is an uphill battle. Traveler, Paimon. I want to thank you for your help back at the Ruin. I won't. Let's get together sometime. If Auroron really wants to thank you, he can treat us all to a tasty meal. Sounds great! We'll be there!